Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to showcase a brand new deck. Well, it's been around for a little bit. We're going over some of the like meta decks now. And this is one of the new meta decks that I had seen that I hadn't actually played against yet and it totally wrecked me. But it is what it is. It's 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 gonna be there, so I might as well break it down for you so you can see what it is and see so see how to play against it. Oh yeah. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also, in that for our Patreon, you'll get to see like all of our varied videos up early, all the extra stuff that we have for our Patreon, and our link to our Discord as well. Um, also, down below, you'll see the FOW Grimoire app, which is our deck builder slash database app for the Game of Force Wheel. Um, it took a while. It took a while for us to get it made, but it, it works really well, and it's what we build all of our decks off of, and it's, it's just super simple. Yeah. So go check it out. See if you like it or see if you don't. Either way, let us know. With that, guys, we're gonna delve into the deck called Drawn to Life which essentially all we're doing is drawing a whole lot of cards. Um, but it is blue-green. So we're starting with Mujdart. She's the blue ruler of the six sages. Uh, judgment's two blue and one, tag team six sages. If you would draw an opening hand, you draw one plus card, and your max hand size is increased by one. So it helps for this. Um, whenever you do judgment of a ruler, draw a card, tap draw a card, put a card from the bottom, or on from your hand on the bottom. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, also, she has a zero seven on judgment side with flying. This card gets plus 300 plus for each card in your hand. Whenever you deal damage to an opponent, draw a card. So super simple, super easy. And of course, her tag team partner is Feasting for the green. So she judgment for two green and one, uh, has the tag team of six sages. And at the beginning of your game, you may mulligan up to three times instead of once, which will just set up your perfect hand, especially since you get an extra card as well. Yeah. So value. And then you may do judgment at any time you can play a card with quick cast. And then you can tap produce one, but only spin this play chance and of course when she judgment uh because she is quick cast so she has she's a flying five seven enter choose up to two cancel target spell or prevent all damage that'll be dealt to target entity until end of turn which is pretty cute it's everything you need for control yeah, and for her she's really strong just because you're playing a combo deck so being able to mulligan three times gets you a better chance to get to all the combo cards yeah exactly uh all right so the first resonated we have is morgiana the wise servant she has one green for a three three if you would draw a card during your turn other than your draw step, you get to look at the top three and put one in your hand instead. Which is that's as how you know, it works. It's beautiful. And it's super strong for this deck because you're drawing a whole lot of cards. So you get to look three deep instead of one for each card. And it helps on Mooj Dart because when she says tap draw a card, you get to look at three. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. The next one, of course, is Welser, the Master of Six Ages, slash slash his last lecture. It's two green, quick cast resonator. It's a six, six, enter, return target spell to the owner's hand if the card was put in the field by the effect of his last lecture. Remove the card from game and put two one, one counters on each J ruler you control and hit the quick, the quick cast chant. There we go. Re uh, recover a J ruler you control and then do all the stuff. That's all it is. Honestly, if you're playing meta and you're playing green, you need to be playing that card. It's, it, yeah. it's just that strong. Like, it's just one man that don't, don't do that spell when you don't. Like, it just it slows them down. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily counter it, but it makes them not have that spell when they want that spell. It, up, it destroys their tempo, and then you can have a dude on the field. Yeah. So, awesome. Uh, next up, and the major key part of the deck is Mirage, the uh, fantasy guide slash 4C. Two blue for a 5-7 Cresonator. Whenever you draw a card, put two one counters on this card. Yeah. You may pay two, bless, two blue less to play cards called 4C, and the bottom side of 4C is two blue, draw two cards. Simple as that. So if you have Morgiana and she sticks turn one, then you play this turn two, and you hopefully win because you just play a whole lot of 4Cs after you have Mirage in play. Yep, and being able to look through three deep for each card that you draw, yeah. and then it just gets So wild. you're drawing two cards, but you're essentially looking at six cards, Yeah, which is insane value. So you're like, cool, I dig six deep. <laughs> to get the more 4Cs so yeah. you can keep putting more counters on. Of course, the next one is Silmaria, Summoner of Spirits, and then the Dance of Spirits. Uh, Resonator, uh, two white, five, 1,000 flying. Tap, remove X11 counters for this card. Put 00, zero light spirit resonator with flying with X11 counters on it, but you're gonna actually be using it more for the chant, which is quick cast. Your opponent cannot play spells this turn. That's good. It's pretty good. That's good. Just be like, hey, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, the other part of the combo or different combo that's in the deck is Ouroboros, the re reincarnating light spirit or light serpent. He is five white. For 2020, enter target player's life total becomes 2,000. Pay a red and a blue, or play, sorry, play a red and a white. Put this card from your hand into your stranger deck. That doesn't matter, you're not playing strangers. Nope. 
Mainly he's there to be like, hey, come into play, you're at 20. That's what he's there Especially for. if you play against any of the tag team partners that makes their life at 70. Yeah. You just get it, get it out of there. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. like, cool, I don't care. All right. The first spell, or actually a regalia that we have, is Genesis. It costs, it's free. Mythic comes into play, and if your J Ruler isn't Magna, which it isn't, it enters the field rested. But tap, produce one will of any attribute, spend this will only to play God's Art abilities, strangers, or what you really need is 12 protective EDs, sword arts, or mage arts. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, next up is Prisia's Call to Action. It is one green quick cast. You may pay a green less to play this if it targets a beast. Target Resonator gains swiftness and precision until you turn draw a card. It's there to give something swiftness. That's yep. what it's for. And once we go over all these, I'll explain the whole like bits and pieces it, of it. Yeah, you're already like, what? These are weird random <laughs> yeah. cards. All right, and we have the journey here. So it's one green quick cast. Choose one. Target any number of chance spells from each spell. Its controller pay, may pay one less or pay, may pay one. If they don't cancel it or put up to two, one target, up to one target card from your graveyard, sorry, on the bottom of your deck, draw a card. So that's kind of, I guess, just a little cancel. That It's there mostly to put cards back because you're drawing so many cards, you get to put your four Cs back into your deck to draw them again. Okay. That's mainly why it's for there. There you go. Next is Bewildering Charm. It is one blue quick cast, choose one, return target resonate to its owner's hand or draw a card. It's a good, draw cards or remove a dude yeah seems good and of course the next is 4c two blue draw two cards simple as that uh next up is elixir's love it is one blue or one green and one uh remnant put target chant from your graveyard into your hand same thing you're getting more 4c's this way and you get to do it multiple times especially if they're free then you're just like yeah all right give me this and all right <clears throat> resistance of the 12 uh, protective deities it's a red and a white quick cast it's a mage art so you can use uh genesis Quick cast, if this card was played with the will produced by a Caduceus, of course it's not. Choose one. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put a card from among them into your hand, and remove the others from the game, or put a 12 protective deities from your hand on the field, which just brings out the dragon. Yeah, the big lie serpent, he's a 12 protective. Uh, here's the other main card of the deck that you have to have, is Lycaon the Magic Academy. It is three green. You pay green less to play this for each card, or each chant you've played this turn. Tap. This turn, you may play the next chant. You would total cost two or less without paying its cost. <laughs> so, so all the four C's are free, and then this all is the, free. Yeah, all the four C's are already free, so you've already played three spells. You play Lycaon for free. You get more Lycaons. You play those for free because you're drawing. You're looking at six cards. So you yeah. need to get what you want when you get to six cards. Looking at, and then once you get this, you play the Resistance of the Twelve Apostles for free because it's a two-drop chant. And you drop a 20 20 and then you play the sylvia's card that gives it haste and you're like cool die yeah you take you're at 20 you take 20. it's See, super simple or you can just give mirage his swiftness because she's already huge from drawing so many cards yeah super cute the next of course is the magic of trust and love it's a blue and a red so quick cast uh you may recover a card named Milas or Mooj dart which you do control rather than play this card's cost choose one if you control a Card name my list and a card name Mujdar, choose both instead. So all you get to do is either draw a card or this card deals 700 damage to target player or resonator. But this card can be free because all I gotta do is tap your ruler, so that's why it's there. Yeah. Because you're like, hey, free spell is free, target and help Lycaon come turn on, get turned on. That's Done. all it's for. for. Done. Uh, the stones are really simple. We're playing Magic Stone of the Six Sages, Magic Stone of the Gusting Skies, of the Deep Wood, and Andaractus Memoria. You're only really needing them just to make sure you get the blue when you need to get it and to have the lily the, the other stuff it's it's super simple like this deck is like a combo deck so if you don't like combo don't play it <laughs> yeah just, it's just how it is but just know that it is a deck that is pretty strong it just won the last gp so know that so it's it's gonna be everywhere and it's as you can tell it's really really disgusting when it goes off i didn't know exactly how it worked and then i just got wrecked by it on turn two and i was like oh that's cute yeah. neat but it is what it is. The deck will still be down below and leave a like down below and we'll let you know. Thank you. Goodbye. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.